Red Risings. Well, you finished it. You did it. You, yesterday, the weekend, you did the showings for the property. You had several people come through, do the application, pay the application fee. Now you're on to the next phase of processing and lease creation and completion. Good job. You talked about it. You put it together. You advertised. You marketed. Now you can move on to the next step while also having the advantage of having more showings tomorrow, today as well. And with that being said, you were listening to your voice memos because you were wondering why is your phone not have any storage already? And it's a brand new phone that we're on. You have so many voice memos going back to 2017. A lot of them are conversations. Some of them are poetry. Some of them are raps, and that's oh a lot of content. It's a lot of content, and I was listening to one of them. I was like, "Bro, this is blowing my mind." This is from like 2018 or something. It's just like so good. It's like really good poetry, rap. It's a real good rap. It's really it's straight up rapping. I'm like, bro, why don't you ever listen to this stuff more often? <laughs> You're really over here dropping bars like stuff. People be like. I was like, wow, I got up, I started, I was hype after I got up and I wasn't even something like I even like paid attention to. It literally just has like a date from when I recorded it on my voice memo. So there's something to that. Like that's, you know, that's your media. Like we're talking about change agents, right? Media is a part of a change agent and it's educational. According to Amos Wilson, where it just, it's, it's eliminating to you your values, how you can um, keep those values and make sure that they are of your own design so you can express your soul's desires. Oof, I put that in a line. I was like, what? What? Man. King. It was a good rap. So, um, I should listen to more of them. And take some time because there's a lot of them. Like I'm literally like thinking about how many of those memos, voice recordings there are. However, there's a wealth of knowledge and um, illumination about myself into myself. And remember what Sam Walton did. With that, things are coming well here in the office. Pretty much, uh, it's just like minor stuff. It is minor things which have not been um, filed away. Remember what you saw once you finished filing. So I got my calendar here. These values here. And um, yeah. What kind of content are you recording now? What kind of content have you been recording? And I remember growing up, everybody did Saturday morning cartoons. I used to go out and play. I used to go play outside, actually, when I was growing up. Go find my friends and go to their house and be like, hey, is this person home? Oh, okay. Play with them. If this person's home. Oh, yeah. Play with them. If this person's home, play with them. And I was very social, you know, um, yeah, especially growing up like in middle school, no, elementary school, I was very social. I've always been an actually social person. I think in some ways my brother has made me feel like I wasn't social. However, I'm very social. I, um, I just haven't been good at orienting the people who are around me to continue to be around me as I grow and develop so that they change with me. Remember to do that. There's one right here that talks about teaching and then sustaining what has been taught. Sustaining what has been taught. Mm. So I got these, uh, I think I got like, man, these videos. 
63 of them. Y'all watching? Y'all subscribe, like the video, comment, like the video, subscribe, share the video. Um, go and check out my meetup group, which is my social circle. And uh, I'm probably gonna put these videos on the TV and like watch them like I'm on TV, like I'm watching myself on TV. That would be really cool. Oh, man. It really makes it like... There's that. And you know, yesterday, I just... I started on... I was talking with several people I know. And this one person, she... This, she was saying something that, like, I really didn't like. So I was... I just started getting, like, critical. I was like... You should be like this. You should be like this. You're like this, and you should be like this. Don't be like this. Yeah. You're like this. Don't be like this. You should be like this. And for me, that's like, oh, man, what if I say something and, like, they go away? And, I like, I tell them how it is, and they go away. And then I thought about it. I was like... I was going through like these lists of people who I know because I keep track of the people in my life. I'm like, I know so many more people and I've met so many people in the past who still aren't in my life, even though I did hold my tongue. So I shouldn't hold my tongue because whether or not she's in my life in the future or not isn't important because it, it, it doesn't exist anyways. However, me holding my tongue is just me not actually being myself. So I'm not here in the present. So I should just say whatever I'm feeling like, and not whatever, but I should say what I feel like I need to in sort of a inevitable conflict in the present to actually get to get my point across, to get to say what I'm trying to say. And um for them to see what I'm saying. So I was doing that yesterday, and in some ways it was making me like feel a little bit of heat on the inside, but that's probably like the anger I felt at having to correct them. And um it's good. It's actually good because it's internally solidifying the boundaries, which um involves other people in a relationship. And if I feel like I see something that needs to be pointed out, I should point it out and um, and let the conflict ensue. However, there was no conflict. It was just an acceptance. Um, so in some ways, it was all just in my head, just me trying to avoid whatever. So, uh, going direct at the issue that I felt needed to change for the better worked. It really worked. Remember that. Hmm. So there's some things to do, some minor things. And so the major things is just like Getting that application finished. And um, from there, determining what's back to my agenda, urgent, important, can be delayed, and what should be deleted. And uh, it's good. Just so, just managing my time, managing my people, managing myself. I need to get that book again, Peter Drucker, Managing Oneself. Um, man, I got about six more months in this year. And what have I done with my time up to now? Just been working on that house, doing some real estate leads, not nearly as much as I am believe I'm possible of capable of doing been doing a lot less than that 
a lot less than that. Oh. Let me see this. I should need to make this other video. Talk to myself about this other thing. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on guys, because I'm about to really... Uh, Good. All right. So I'm going to come back with this other video, dropping another one. Watch out for that in about like right after this video.